Hi, I'm Jack Pollitt here at uh, Peisty UK to check out some of the new ranges for 2016 from Peisty. The 2002 Big Beat Symbols, which I'm very keen to have a, a try of. I think Peisty are delivering us a, a symbol which is somewhere between the Giant Beat and the uh, 2002s, um, both of which I'm a massive fan of. So, you know, anything that's somewhere in the middle of that is going to be the best of both worlds for me. So I'm keen to, to hear what those are like. And also, uh, there's some new 602 Modern Essentials, so some new sizes and, that they've added to the range, which is great. And, and I'm also here to just, as always, because there's just this plethora of wonderful stuff, uh, to, to just try out whatever's, you know, takes my interest on the day. Um, I think there's a new John Robinson sort of signature uh, swish symbol, which might even be on that stand there. Uh, which I'm really keen to try out. So, uh, yeah, let's see what happens. I had a go on the Big Beats uh, 2002. Yeah, they're fantastic. They're, they're a louder cymbal than, than, than I'm used to playing, um, but that wasn't a problem. It, it never felt like it, they were getting out of control. They're very bright. Um, I can absolutely see them working in, you know, sort of guitar-led, slightly higher volume situations and just, you know, as, as I kind of find with all Pisces cymbals, just cutting through the right frequency cuts through in the right place they have a nice paperiness to them particularly the hi-hats which i noticed were a little bit thinner than the crashes it gave them a really nice controlled paper paperiness um, which i wasn't expecting i was expecting a more straight out kind of rocky direction um, but they have they there's a there's a really nice sort of level of, of control and and they're very focused um, but still feel like they're giving off a lot of energy. So, um, so yeah, big thumbs up for those, uh, real fan. Next up, was I did the uh, 602 Modern Essential cymbals. Um, I'm quite familiar with the, this range. I have quite a few in my in my slightly too big collection of cymbals. They're a fantastic addition to the to the range, and I can see that they um, they're an important addition to the range because um, that particularly that, that it was an like enormous 24 inch ride cymbal, but. Um, but it didn't f when, when it was on the kit. It didn't feel over the top. It didn't feel like you were, you know, um, it wasn't gimmicky. It wasn't like, you know, it, it, it was absolutely playable and and sat really well within that 602 Modern Central sound. Uh, the the 22 inch crash cymbal actually made a fantastic ride. Um, I'm a bit of a fan of doing that anyway. But um, it made a really great ride cymbal. But crashed beautifully. Um, and and yeah, and the, the thing that thing about the the 602 Modern Essential range is that really nice balance between the the 602 classic symbols, but also having a sort of slightly darker edge, which um, maybe makes them more versatile in in certain situations. And then the two other crashes on the other side, 
just adding a bit more options for, you know, drummers get really understandably quite specific about what they want. And I think um, just having those extra sizes in the crashes will, will you know, deliver that for some people. Um, and they sound great. They sound as great as all the others. So. <laughs> So then, so then we ch I just started fooling around, trying on different symbols, seeing what I, I liked. I, I had some ideas about things I was looking for. I've been looking for quite a dry sounding ride symbol. Uh, and so we put up a whole bunch of rides. Uh, we ended up with three of the masters range on the kit. One of which was the dark dry ride and 21 inch dark dry ride. The other was a 22 inch uh, dark ride and the other one was a 20 inch dark crisp ride um, all of which sound fantastic I think though that for me the, I was going for as dry as possible and that was the dark dry 21 um, because I was looking for something very specific to contrast with the other symbols that I have in my collection and, and I think that's going to do the, the job just new in today which is the John Robinson uh, signature groove uh, swish ride 24 inch swish ride which is part of the 2002 range um, and it's a lot of fun actually it's uh, it's quite different to anything I would normally play it reminded me of some of the stuff I've seen with Bernard Purdy playing China as a ride um, and making it sound fantastic and, and I've, I think I've seen John Robinson doing similar things when I was playing it, 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 what I was thinking of is musical context where, you know, if, if it's groovy but it's all getting a bit leery, you've got something there to go to that's going to kind of, you know, that still can articulate, which is important in groove music, you know, it's not just lost in a wash of kind of thrashy noise, um, but, but, you know, speaks, you know, clearly enough to, to still give those, you know, specific notes which make up that sort of syncopation or groove or whatever that's going on and so it's fun I really enjoyed playing it. it was a lot of fun actually the bell sounds great so you can see that the profile of it is almost like a china it's like a very soft china kind of shape um, which gives it quite a, a distinctive sound <laughs> Okay, great. So uh, that's me done for the day. I had a lot of fun checking out a lot of really amazing symbols. The quality is, is, is incredible. Lots of real range of sounds, lots of interesting sounds. And some of them I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take home and add to my collection. And, uh, and I'm looking forward to playing them out on the road. Uh, so yeah, so get into your music stores or whatever and try some of these symbols out because they sound amazing sound fantastic and within the Paiste range there's something for everybody whatever style of music you play uh, and I play quite a few different styles of music and I find that I'm you know I'm never missing anything with, with the symbols I've got so um, yeah y you won't be sorry so anyway good luck with everything enjoy your drumming and I'll see you later